What the world needs now is lo- laughter. Woo. <laughs> I'm gonna get on a soapbox today. Why? I'm just gonna. Blah, 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 blah. I have nothing written down. I have no notes. I have no no line of thinking that I'm gonna follow today. It's just something that has just been on my mind for, for for years now, and it's just yeah. Let's do it now. What happened to people laughing and having a good time and not letting things just get homicidal in their mind. Where where have we gone so wrong that, yeah, okay, Bill Cosby did some horrible things, but why doesn't mean he wasn't a comedic genius at the same time? We can't laugh at the stuff that he did in the past. There's tons of things like that. There are horrible people in this world. There are, there always will be. And those horrible people can have awesome talents. And I'm not saying we overlook any of the bad stuff, of course not, but it doesn't mean that we shun anything that they did good. The Cosby Show was great. It was great. Great! Why are we gonna take it off the air because he did some horrible things? That's not, we're suffering now because of the stupidity that he did. Not only, yes, he should be punished, of course. The people that he did horrible things to, you know, it's it's horrible, they shouldn't have to suffer, nobody should have to suffer through that kind of stuff. But let's just make it horrible for everybody else now too, in that we can't laugh at some of the things that he did that were good. And I'm not just trying to single him out, you know, it goes with anybody that, that made people laugh. Robin Williams, now we're, we're supposed to look back at the legacy of Robin Robin Williams and, and hang our heads in shame that the poor man, he was such a troubled individual and he took his own life. Yes, that's horrible, but the dude was hilarious. I can't laugh at him anymore? Because he took his own life. All of his comedy is now shrouded in a cloud of darkness. When did we get so cynical? When did we get so just down in the dumps that we can't recognize humor and the joy for what it is? We have to scrap it all now. Because one person suffers, we all have to suffer. Because one person lives in the dark clouds, we all have to live in the dark clouds. No, I refuse to live my life like that. I want to be that shining, bubbling light that brings someone out of their cloud. I don't want to go join them in their cloud. That's ridiculous. I want to pull you out of that cloud. And I know what those clouds are like because I've been there. I want you out of that cloud and into the other cool, bubbly, shiny, bright, fun, let's just have a good time cloud. Let's not live in the cloud, let's live on the cloud. Enough with my corniness. I'm being serious though. What happened to the point in time where we could just laugh? Why can't we laugh anymore? Why is there just this shroud over laughter and joy? There are horrible things going on right now in this world, and that's why we need laughter that much more. I don't have the answers of how to get there. I don't. I wish I did, because if I did, I'd be buying advertisement anywhere I could just to get it out there. I guess it's just gonna have to run on the principle of it just takes one person to start a wild pot. Well, that's a horrible thing to say right now, too. See what I'm saying? You just can't, you can't, you can't just because you're gonna I don't care. I want to spread a wildfire of laughter. I would rather have a wildfire of laughter and joy and positivity than an actual wildfire. Can people not see that? That's what somebody means when they have a slip of the, slip of the tongue. I don't want anything to burn except the laughter inside of you. Maybe it's just a mindset that we have to wake up with in the morning. We get out of bed and we say, today, I'm going to laugh. Even if I make, even if I look like an idiot and people are just looking at me like, <laughs> somebody forgot to take his pills this morning. I'm gonna laugh anyway, don't care. I'm gonna have the the attitude during the day of, I'm one thing, just one thing, I need to find, I'm on a quest. Come with me on this quest. I'm gonna find one thing to laugh at today. And I don't just mean like, <laughs> that was funny. I made a belly laugh. What happened to belly laughs? Where you got that old Jolly Saint Nick with a bowl full of jelly as his belly, bouncing back and forth with laughter, falling out of his chair, tears rolling down your eye, you can't catch your breath, your toes are tingling because the blood circulation has stopped to the extremities. Laughter, where has that gone? If you can't tell, it's not early in the morning, it's actually past my bedtime, and that's why I'm a little senile right now. <laughs> Maybe I should make more late night videos. <laughs> That's all I got. It's just something that's been on my mind for a very long time and it needed to get out of my system and I think it would be an incredibly good thing to encourage everybody else to, to have the same thought process going on. Find positivity. Find ways to laugh. Seriously. Go unconscious from lack of blood flow laughter. Find those things. Share those things. I want those things. Whatever you find, share it with me. Cause I want to laugh at your stuff too. Come on. That would be another good video. Send me, send me stuff. Send me links. Send me things that, that you see that just, you know, made you fall out of your chair laughing. 
and I'll make a video and post those and we can all share that kind of goofiness. That's what it's about. I would like nothing more. You know, it, it, I've got all these crazy, crazy, crazy plans of things I wanna do. If YouTube takes off and I start making money here and there and whatever, what would I do with it? Well, you know, in all seriousness, in all seriousness, 100% seriousness, I would start a production company where it would be comedy. Legit, the good stuff, all the stuff, the good stuff. I'm only 37, I'm not that old. Like I've said before, I'm not young, I'm not old, I've lived life, there's a lot left to live. I grew up on the tail end, the last waves of some really good comedy. And I, I've recognized it, and I recognize it now, and I've gone back and I've studied it, and I've looked at it, and I love the old comedy bits. You know, you, you got the, the, the icons, Abbott Costello, Laurel and Hardy, and then you got a bunch of the Rat Packs. Yeah, some of it went a little raunchy. A lot of it was really good. You had the old Dean Martin roasts. Carol Barnett. Where, where has that? You know, you Johnny Carson. Where, where's that mentality gone? You know, you, you, you can take the same thing and revamp it to you know modern time and and make it more relevant to what's going on now in the society and modern times that we live in. But it's still, it's still that that light that's inside that takes that personality, the the, the, the trait, part of our DNA. Is it is that like just that strain of DNA just completely removed from the human race now? Where did it go? Clean, gut wrenching, tearful laughter, joy and comedy. I lost my train of thought. Anyway, if the YouTube stuff took off and I had a bunch of money coming in, that's what I would do. I'd start a production company and go and doing all of that kind of stuff to just make people laugh more man it's intoxicating intoxicating that's what i would like to do so my societal dilemma defect in society and my cure for it on this monday morning uh -huh. saturday sunday night monday morning yeah. i'm gonna go to bed laugh more <clears throat>the great people that you're gonna meet it's just that's the best part of this and that's what's so important about uh, about what Philip's doing with this program is because you wouldn't have any idea of, of the relationships you can develop with people in their stories that really make that connection it's kind of like I told him sometimes it's almost like a light when, when you start talking to somebody their face literally lights up when they're talking about their experiences and the things that they share and it can be the simplest question or it can be the most difficult question. But what's awesome about the whole thing is it's literally just the ride. You know, it's just walking that path with somebody for a few moments or an hour and getting inside their head for a minute and learning about them.